Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to the Guns and Outdoors channel. Really hope that you're doing well today. If you still think revolvers and wheel guns are cool, then go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. You know, if you come to think about it, how many revolvers do you see at the local gun range when you go out there these days? Probably not a lot. That's unfortunate because there are so many viable options on the market. Technologies, lighter weight alloys, material, different lengths and sizes. They're great, fun guns to have. A lot of new shooters don't even own one. Heaven forbid, haven't even fired one. So if you get a chance and you have a buddy, you want to go ahead and introduce them to one, make sure you do that. Wheel guns and revolvers still have a lot of gas left in the gas tank. To that end, have a look at this video. Hang with us as we review the Weinreich EAA. Vindicator. Then we're going to go to the range. We're going to shoot it. Have a great time. Stand by. Welcome back. Produced by a German manufacturer called Weyrich and imported into the United States by the European American Armory Company. I believe they're out of Florida. This is the EAA Vindicator, or in this case, it's spelled Windicator, chambered in 357. If you go ahead and look at any of these, make sure you got the 357, which is backwards compatible to the 38 Special. There are certain models, wheel guns, that only say 38 Special. This is the six shot, and it's just awesome. Mechanically fit, function, seems great. Inject the rounds out of there, no problems. I have shot this gun already before. So far, so good. It's a double action, single action. Mm, I like it a lot. Now it is heavy. When it comes to these guys and these days revolvers, a lot of the semi-automatic enthusiasts, they may shy away from these type of guns, but I believe these guns have purpose. Nightstand, hunting, car gun, camping. Maybe you're an instructor. You're gonna get into NRA instructor, you know, all their dated material, or if you're a pistols instructor class, I, for example, I have that <laughs> in the old literature. They're gonna get you into the manual of arms on revolvers, semi-automatics, and things like that. But it's really good to always enjoy a wheel gun. Make sure you add one into your collection. This Vindicator has a steel frame, black rubber grip. I really like this black rubber grip because I want to be able to hold on to this thing. If I'm shooting the higher, more powerful loads, I don't want things jumping around. Shot my brother-in-law's um, Judge with 410. Man, those things, and the 45 Long Colt, that thing packs a wallop. You really got to get on it. And I don't really like the grip. This one, for the 357 and 38 Special, this guy has a great grip. Fits my size, large hands perfectly. And I really like that about it. So coming in at 1.8, 1.9 pounds, you can get another color option. I think it's a stainless color. This is black or slash blued, and I like it. Now keep in mind that you can go to a lot of gun stores, you can see tons of revolvers. So all the manufacturers are still making these things, all right? That's because there is a demand. Definitely still is demand. With the modern techniques and the alloy frames, and then the steel cylinders, the gun may be snappy, these other variants, but it comes at a benefit of lighter weight. Other revolvers are going to come in around 17, 20 ounces. And uh, so if you want to carry one, just keep that in mind. This guy's a little bit too heavy to carry, but they always say heavy, but it's not really that heavy. What are you going to do? Uh, I, I wouldn't uh, let it deter me. Biggest thing for this is holsters. I had a hard time finding holsters. Found one, Smith & Wesson. This was the J-frame, but it doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. I think I need to go with a different different uh, manufacturer. I need to try some different options. K-frame versus the J-frame. All right, and if you want Kydex, you just kind of have to look around. Now, how did I end up getting this one? I ended up going to a local gun store, walked in, looked at my case, and to my surprise, there was this very affordable price tag of 250 bucks on this. I definitely snapped it right up. Really enjoyed that. I have shot it already, shoots pretty good. It looks good. I thought this was a great looking gun. The finish looks great. Not bad on the tool markings. Nothing wrong with the gun. I didn't think this pistol had a lot of rounds through it. Fits really good in my size large hands. I really like the grip. My intention on this is a utilitarian type of thing. All right, training aid, range time, occasional clinker. I like to maintain firearms proficiency in multiple types of firearms as a student of the gun or even an instructor. I'm not really trying to be an instructor, but I do have my NRA certification. Everybody bags on them. They bag on the out-of-date material. But if you go back and look at the curriculum that they teach 
in their instructor pistol class, one of the gun types is the revolver. So, you know, you're going to be learning it. You're going to be dealing with these type of firearms, clear and jams. You're going to have students that still carry them. For all those reasons, definitely you should pick yourself one up and get comfortable with it. Another thing that I think is real good about these type of guns is I think they're good for long-term storage. You can put these in a drawer, you can put them away, you know where it's at, and you're being safe and all that thing. I think you could put this in your cabin. If you have your second home, a little cabin in the woods, no problem, right? For many people, cost of a firearm can be the actual deciding factor, not even its reputation or its brand name. Well, so when they choose a handgun, it's all about the price. Uh, so Retail on this guy is 375 with used ones going low, lower online, uh, anywhere from the twos to the threes. And for me, when I picked up the price tag at 250 that made it a no-brainer to add one to my collection. I was very pleased with that. If we go around the gun, we just see stamp trigger guard, machined trigger with serrations. This is how we would screw in our grip, back strap, rubberized texture, finger grooves, nice cylinder release. The timing seems great on this pistol, no problem. We've got our importer mark here, made in Germany. We've got some of our roll marks. And we've got their logo, EAA, and this is a pinned barrel. All right. I have seen some, one of the cons is I have seen some QA issues in the past around some of the barrels, but this one appears to be perfectly fine. No issues. Cylinder is marked. Cylinder is marked 357 Magnum. You want to go ahead and confirm that. Yeah, I think the pros on this or low price availability, mechanically sound, versatility to be able to shoot the 38 Special or the 357 Magnum in a variety of cartridges. I've shot 130 grain tool ammo in 38 Special. I've shot 158 grain Magtech ammo in 38 Special. And then I've had the 38 Special Remington, which is semi-jacketed hollow point. Kind of look at that there. So these were everything I could pick up on it. Yeah, I had no issues, no failure to eject. Even on the tool ammo, I was able to eject it just fine. Now, I was having huge, because of the short two inch barrel on this, huge fireballs coming out the end of it with the Tula, but again, everything injected fine. Good value, extreme value. Gun seems mechanically sound, and uh, I'm happy to have it. So there you go, stand by. Let's head out to the range. Okay guys, we're at the range. This gun is unloaded. Hey, there's a couple things I forgot to talk to you about earlier. The, in, this is an external hammer, but I liked how it's cut at a 90 degree angle. And the front sight. Front sight is fixed, so unfortunately you can't swap it out for a fiber optic. It's integrated into the stubby of the barrel, the two inch. So there's a couple slide serrations kind of running down the length of the barrel. Got ourselves a target out there. We're gonna set it up for 21 feet and it should be obvious, but this isn't gonna be a precision type pistol. When it comes to revolvers, they're very dependable. You don't, you have less malfunctions, no really failure to ejects. You don't have to quote tap rack bang. You can just, as long as that cylinder is cycling and the timing is good, it takes a lot of those variables out of the equation. So the real get off me gun, that's what I'm thinking about when it comes to a revolver. And generally I know cops and and other guys that have sh been shooting revolvers are a lot longer than me, but those are some of the things they like about it. My one buddy specifically keeps a revolver in his glove compartment just for that. Your mileage may vary. So what we're gonna do is I have a modern samurai target out there. Those are kind of cool. And I just ran out to 21 feet. We're just gonna shoot it. So as of always, let me get us set up here and then we will keep it running. We're gonna load up. Put on our ear and eye protection. All right. We're going to shoot some of this MagTech ammo. 
and 38 Special. Cool about the EAA is I talked about earlier during the tabletop, six shot capable versus five shot, and that's pretty nice. All right. And I'm locked in. All right, we're gonna do the first round double action, and then of course you can run it single action. I didn't also mention that the double action is roughly over 12 to 13 pounds. The single action pull on this EAA Vindicator is actually pretty nice. It's coming in right around five pounds or four and a half pounds. So it's a nice, no play, breaks really good. If you're shooting with your spouse, they don't really like that really long, hard double action pull. You can just have them cock the hammer back when they're out on range day, shoot a single action, why not? All right, here we go, guys. Another thing too, is I'm gonna watch my grip. Make sure I'm not hitting the gas ports here. Another thing too, and don't be judging or hating, is you can literally cross your fingers in the back. That's gonna get this guy out of the way and it's gonna allow you to grip high and double up. So that's not my idea, that's from Jerry Mitchellette. So no one's gonna call him out and say that's crazy, right? The big thing is training scars. Remember what I said earlier, I like learning different platforms. The way you run an AR is much different than the way you run an AK, which is much different than you run to bore. Same thing with semi-automatics and revolvers. You have to learn how to adjust, and I like that. I like those elements. All right, let's give it a go. All right, right down the middle, guys. No problem, 21 feet, you see it. We'll go ahead and pull it in really fast. Again, I wasn't trying to be precision guy on this, but uh, there we are. There we are. Spot on. So, revolver shoots right where you want it to go. And I love that. No problem on that. That's cool. <laughs> the 38, it felt really good. Very pointable, very manageable. It just shot really smooth and double action for me. No problem at all. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. We'll send it back up to the front. And try some single action, all right? So we'll do it like this. Now this is gonna be a really good trigger pull. Now the reset's a little weird. You gotta get used to that. Reset's not like a normal, you can't ride it like a Glock or a CZ, things like that. You gotta let it out more. All right, I'll just key hold that. Oh, another key hold. <laughs> but that's awesome. So we'll open it up. And how you do it is you just bring it straight up, eject. Nice. Very nice. I'm really happy with that. I've got this speed loader right here. See the speed loader? Got it loaded up. So I'll just tilt my gun down, put this here up, you know, and then I'll just turn the lever up. Ah, I got cocky. One popped out. But well, there you go. I'm back in the back in the fight. Time it, and uh, we're back in action versus individually putting the shots in. Right, so really cool there. I'll do a double action. Another one. Single. Single. Double. Oh man, now that's the thing, those six shots go quick. That's cool right there. I'm happy with that shot grouping. Got the job done. Sweet. All right guys. Listen, we'll just end it there. The EAA Vindicator, 250 bucks, brings a little bit of joy. And this might be a gun for you. So if you don't have a revolver and you're the plastic fantastic type guy, which we all are these days, go ahead and check yourself out one. I don't care what brand, but so far so good on the EAA Vindicator.
As always, like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you watching. Go ahead and hit the sub for me. We want to grow the channel. I'm getting very, very close to 10,000 subscribers. Whew, that's been a long, hard road. It's been several years, but it's cool. Support your small channels. Like and subscribe. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Keep training. Until next time, we're out of here. See ya.